So just a yes or no, you still do not have a plan. I have concepts of a plan. Just weeks after former President Donald Trump introduced his concepts of a plan to replace the ACA, uh, we find out that the Republican Party is actually not really interested at all in doing anything with health care. Now, the reason is, of course, their ideas actually suck and are very unpopular. Uh, now, this is according to new polling from Data for Progress. So, turns out that the reforms that would be embraced by the Republican Party are very unpopular with the country, including Republican voters. So now, the poll, which asked respondents how they felt about eight legislative ideas that were part of legislation that Republicans have either promoted in the past few years or were part of documents such as uh, Project 2025. The responses to these ideas were not only negative, but in most cases, overwhelmingly negative. So let me show you. At the top of the list was allowing insurers to deny coverage or charge people more if they have pre-existing conditions. Turns out 77% of Americans oppose the idea, according to the survey, while just 15% support it. Gee, I wonder who they are. Now, the timing here is pretty interesting because last week, J.D. Vance had touted the idea of allowing insurers to charge people with pre-existing conditions more for health coverage. What President Trump's health care plan is, is actually quite straightforward, is you want to make sure that pre-existing coverage uh, conditions are covered. You want to make sure that people have access to the doctors that they need. And you also want to implement some deregulatory agenda so that people can choose a health care plan that fits them. Think about it. A young American doesn't have the same health care needs as a 65-year-old American. A 65-year-old American in good health has much different health care needs than a 65-year-old American with a chronic condition. We want to make sure everybody is covered but the best way to do that is to actually promote some more choice in our healthcare system and not have a one size fits all approach that puts a lot of people into the same insurance pools, into the same risk pools that actually makes it harder for people to make the right choices for their families. So his plan is to put people into separate risk pools, which would potentially save money for younger, healthier Americans, but hose older Americans and people with pre-existing conditions. That was the old system that we had. <laughs> so, and of course, that old system was massively broken, which is why we ended up having to do healthcare reform in the first place. Now, of course, I would uh, go further. I actually prefer Medicare for all. Everybody's covered, everybody's in, everybody pays less, uh, you know, overall, because there's no premiums or co-pays or things like that. Uh, it, it would just be, uh, superior system than what we have now. That said, Republicans don't want us to have a better system. They want to take us back to an even worse system. So now there's another thing uh, that Data for Progress tested, uh, and that was uh, stopping Medicare from having the ability to negotiate lower drug prices. Turns out that was very unpopular with 73% opposed and only 19% supporting. Now, the ability for the government to negotiate drug prices uh, in Medicare is something that they recently acquired, okay, with the 2022 Inflation Reduction Act. And they have begun using it in a limited basis, right? So now Republicans have repeatedly said that they want to repeal the law. These are the politicians. Uh, now, I think that that's the wrong way to go. I think Medicare should have the power to negotiate for all drug prices. I know. Um, now, that said, both Project 2025 and the Republican Study Committee proposals say that no, the government should not be allowed to negotiate at all. Companies, drug companies should be allowed to charge the government, i.e. the taxpayer, whatever the hell they want. A along with, uh, you know, uh, just everybody. Um, hey, uh, you know what? I, I think the drug companies should be able to overcharge you for medication that you need to stay alive. That's the Republican Party position. And once again, you have Republican voters we're on the side of, actually, no, we would like more health care, okay, and cheaper prices. Yeah, imagine that, right? <laughs> and again, therefore, both pre-existing condition protections and drug negotiation authority. Uh, opposition among Republican voters was nearly as high as it was for the population as a whole. And that shouldn't be shocking because it turns out Republicans are human, too, and have human needs. Crazy, right? <laughs> now, that said, there are other issues here 
that were a little bit more mixed. So, for example, on whether to impose stricter work requirements for Medicaid, well, the poll found 48% in opposition among the total population were just 39% in support. Well, there you go. I mean, yes, it, it, it is a little bit closer, of course, but you still have a majority in opposition to the Republican Party plan. And by the way, this is just, okay, you could say data for progress, right? Oh, yeah, it's a left-leaning poll. All right. Hey, it's that's fair. It is a left-leaning poll um, or a, a left-leaning firm. Uh, and the thing is, though, that its results are broadly consistent with findings from other polling organizations, like, for example, KFF, which found the Republican voters hate Republican ideas on health care. That's it. <laughs> They're not conservative on it. When it comes down to it, on policy, Republicans cannot get support from their own voters, at least when it comes to health care. Okay? They actually prefer the ideas that the Democrats have put forward. Now, that said, this is why Republican voters are constantly tricked into voting against their own best interest. All right? They're told by Fox News, Democrats are evil socialists that will murder your baby and eat your pets. Or, or, or allow the uh, black person down the street to come and eat your pets. But see, all of that is a lie to try to hide the fact that the Republican Party mainly serves the interests of the super wealthy. That's it. They don't care if you die from a preventable condition, if it means saving those rich people, i.e. them, an extra buck. Now, look, the Democrats certainly have their issues with corporate donors, corporate donations, corporate control of the party infrastructure, uh, and, you know, the fact that they have blocked things like a medic, you know, a, a, a Medicare for all, uh, something that Joe Biden has famously said that he wouldn't vote for, that he would veto uh, if it managed to even get past Congress. And of course, uh, you have these uh, lobbying organizations, you have Big Pharma that, you know, does, just dumps a ton of money into our political system. You have those issues, right? That said, even democratic policies, which are not perfect, are still very preferable to Republican policies. Because Repu with Republicans, remember, their health care plan, and it's still the same as it was before, hasn't changed. <laughs> their plan is don't get sick. And if you do, die quickly. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.